So in order to make some alum crystals, you want to get either a very clean glass or um, maybe like a mason jar that you haven't used yet. You just want to make sure there isn't any debris in there. Not necessarily boiling, but this guy was in my kettle just very recently. You want to go to your grocery store and go into the spicy section, get a loom. It's like maybe two bucks. And for about one cup of warm water, you're going to do two tablespoons to a little over two tablespoons of a loom. What you want to do is get your measuring spoon. This is one, so we'll fill it up twice. I'm stirring it, stirring it, it's making this nice little, I mean, it accumulates at the bottom and you just keep going, keep spinning it. I don't know, I'm smashing it up a little bit and just really trying to dissolve that in there. Once you get a lot in there, you really have to work for it. You don't wanna screw up your solution. No, you don't. You want it to do right. Cool. So there's a little bit in there that it does not want to eat up. So I'm going to call it good. Done, done, done. So what you want to do is get a coffee filter or a paper towel or something to set over the top of it so debris doesn't fall in there. It will start to crystallize in less than 24 hours. If it's longer than 24 hours, you're not seeing anything, you don't have enough in there, start over, start clean. Throw some alum up in there. Put a paper towel over it. Find a nice spot for it to sit and hang out for a little bit undisturbed and then check on it. I let this guy sit for a little less than 24 hours. I'm going to strain this liquid right back into another jar so I can use it again. And it will leave some fun crystals at the bottom of this glass. I can already see that it has a handful of them. Okay, so now we're gonna just loosen up Oh my gosh, there's so many crystals in this thing. Kind of spinning motion, loosening those suckers up. And out they go. Wow! They're so pretty already! <laughs> so it's just a matter of choosing the one that you're gonna grow. I think this beautiful guy is the one. Holy shit! This one's the one. Look at him. Totally beautiful. You want to get a nylon thread, specifically nylon versus cotton or polyester because according to the internet, um, this, these crystals won't grow on the thread. So instead of having an accumulation of crystals on the thread that it's going to hang from, it will only be on the crystal. So you tie this thing right onto it. And I'm kind of nervous about tying it because is it going to, I mean, are you going to see the thread inside? I have no idea. Nobody really talks about this in other tutorials I've seen, so I guess maybe it's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to put it in a spot where it doesn't totally screw up some of these really pretty faces that this guy has. Here we are. I'm going to cut. So then you're just going to tie it to this pen, to a pen. A reasonable amount of length but the thing is is when you hang it in the jar you don't want it to touch the sides of the jar or the bottom or anything you want it to just exclusively just be like free hanging so I have my strained liquid oh. we're looking good let it hang out for a little bit and cover it so nothing loosely falls in there and you're set this guy has been growing for three days and I decided it's good enough and that is how big I want it. Um, pull it right up. Look at that! All right. So, the string is going to just be in there and I'm just going to use some scissors and cut. You can barely see the string in there. It's really not um, super noticeable. 